morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. It is Monday. I had a crazy weekend. I had a surprise frag show in Connecticut that I just kind of packed up and dropped everything and went out there. So I did pick up a cool coral. This is a bubblegum digi, and I have one here as well. Now, mine was growing very slow. The colors are freaking outstanding, and I'm in love with it. But I wanted to pick up another one just so I could you know, grow them faster. Because once they hit their certain size, they take off. But starting off the branches, you know, it's exponential, so it just the growth is slow in the beginning. But I just wanted to say is look at the color of his and look at the color of mine, okay? And it's hard to see through here and, and the cell phone and this lighting is tough. But they're both bubblegum digis, but this one is solid. Hey, get out of the way, stay often. This one is solid like yellow on the tips and goes all the way down to like this pink purple, it's like crazy color. And then this one over here is like a dark red with a yellow tip. So the polyps technically aren't even out right now, you can kind of see a little bit. I did just glue it in there. So it will actually color up once the polyps come out more. So to be fair, I'll, I'll wait and um, look at it again once those polyps are out. So there's that. Um, my clownfish are being annoying as always. I, I keep gluing corals here and they keep ripping them out. So they're trying to host that little rock flower anemone and I feel bad. I want to put in something there for them but they just knock it over. So I, I wedged in a giant hairy mushroom, one of those green carpets, um, magic carpet, uh, it's got a weird name for it. I can't remember what it is. But anyway, we'll see if they leave it alone and they stop trying to host that little rock flower and enemy. So, all right, let's go around back and I'll continue this. The glass that's never clean. There's my new clown sugar. I'm gonna take this thing off. I try to put a um, that little filter on there just so you guys could see better, but it is quite annoying um, unless you're looking at just the blue lights. So this is the Colorado Sunburst. It is a little bit faded, but it's the lineage that I'm worried about, and that is an outstanding find because they are becoming more rare. People are eating them up, and they're quite costly. So if you know what a Colorado Sunburst is, look it up. If you don't, it's a crazy bubble tip anemone with outstanding colors. So I did cut up my Candy Crush and my Jawbreaker. I said whatever I didn't sell from the show, I was gonna cut up. Unfortunately, I sold my crazy Raw Shock Eclectus, which I'm sad about already. Um, <laughs> I missed my mushroom, is that is that nuts, right? I'm like, no, I should have sold it. Uh, instead of buyer's remorse, I got seller's remorse. Um, so there's that, but I am going to take that anemone and I'm building a very special tank. Um, uh, I've been extremely, like I said, busy, so I didn't make the hospital tank like I wanted to, but I don't know if you guys can see, let me turn on the light. This tank right here, I'm going to make a sculpture and I decided just for right now because that anemone is what I want to grow out and I want to feed it and I want to see how well the refroids do and, and what happens with that um, anemone. So there is a pair of Chinese LEDs in here and I'm going to take the same rock stuff that I made here, the habitat putty, and I'm going to make a special system for, and I think I'm going to do a peninsula so you can walk around and see it from all sides and I'll put the plumbing actually into the rock work and I'll have an overflow box up top. So I'll do a ghost overflow down the back side and this will be a peninsula um, tank. So I just threw that together. I was gonna do some testing, um, but as of right now, like I said, that anemone is so valuable. I do not wanna lose it. I wanna keep it, I wanna feed it, and I don't want something else killing it. So problem is I put stuff in my tanks and I think I'm gonna grow it out and one of my fish snaps and chews up a rock or digs in the sand and kills one of my corals. And there's always something that happens. I just had one of my pumps fall down again. Fish were picking at it, I don't know what happened. Knocked the Ecotech off balance, the MP40, and that thing fell down. 
So not only did it create a little cloud when it hit the ground, but it um, all the magnetic rock that I talked about last time stuck to that thing. So when I put it on the glass, you just hear like the, the rock scratching right away. So that's a no-no. Got to watch out for that. So the sand is gone. I did decide on that. I will do a video when I remove the sand. I'm just too frustrated with it. Stuff always gets lost in there. I had some killer, I had a blue spot, jawfish, whatever. He jumped out. I built this, but it's out of season now, so I can't even get the blue spot jawfish. So I'm just like, you know what? Sand is gone. Sand is gone. I'll put green star polyps, rock anemones on the bottom. I'll make it colorful. It's just, I'm just tired of it. It's always getting blown around or doing something. So, but this guy's gonna miss it. He chews on the sand. He's one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of it. He piles it up every day. And then after about a week, I have a giant landslide of sand that he has piled up. So there's all that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will keep you updated on you know, the new frag rack system, the store. Um, I'm actually meeting with someone tomorrow to go over some design work for some of the cool things that I was talking about. So as these things become more of a reality, I will you know, let you guys in on it. I just don't want to say too much and then something happens, it's out of my budget and I can't do it and I feel like crap. So, you know, just like right now the website's down, we're trying to get that together. It's just a lot and every day that website's down, I'm losing money and that's kind of bad. So, right when I need it the most and trying to fund these projects, um, yeah, and this is the busiest time of year really for selling coral for us. Alright All right, guys, that's my ramble for Monday. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coral Us community.